An example of the efficiency ratio is the total asset ratio. The total asset turnover ratio formula is sales divided by assets. We get the sales from the income statement and we get the assets from the balance sheet. Please note that the income statement is a flow account, which means it is calculated over a year, while the balance sheet is a stock account, which is calculated on a certain day. Since we cannot compare a year to a day, we need to convert a day into a year by getting the average of the two balance sheet items. So we will use one income statement and two balance sheet items. In summary, any time you find a financial ratio that includes an item from the income statement and an item from the balance sheet, you will use the income statement item and get the average of the two balance sheet items. So we can rewrite the total asset turnover ratio as sales divided by average assets. Let's calculate the total asset turnover ratio for the year 2018. Sales is equal to $50 million divided by... Let's look at the balance sheet for assets. Please note that in 2018, it is the first year of operations. Consequently, we do not have the average assets, as we do not have the previous year. We have assets in the year of 2018 of $100 million. So, in a formula... We will divide by assets of $100 million, which is equal to 0 0.5 times. The unit of the total asset turnover ratio is times. It means that for every dollar of assets, the company generates $0.5 of sales. The higher the total asset turnover ratio, the better. It measures how efficiently a company uses its assets to generate sales. Capital intensive industries have a lower TATO, which is short for total asset turnover ratio, and labor-intensive industries have a higher TATO ratio. Next, let's calculate the total asset turnover ratio for the year 2019. Sales in 2019 is equal to $60 million divided by, let's look at the balance sheet for the average assets in the years 2019 and 2018. We have assets of $110 million in 2019 and assets of $100 million in 2018. So, in our formula, we will divide by average assets of open bracket, 110 million plus 100 million, close bracket, divided by 2, which is equal to 0 0.57 times. The unit of the total asset turnover ratio is times. It means that for every dollar of assets, the company generates 0 0.57 of sales. The higher the total asset turnover, the better. It measures how efficiently a company uses its assets to generate sales. Therefore, capital-intensive industries have a lower TATO ratio and labor-intensive industries have a higher TATO ratio.